Hello, welcome back to Brando Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I'm going to try to cover um, how we can deal with string inside SpareChop. We know that inside SpareChop, we don't actually have um, any nodes that's dealing directly with string, but we could actually kind of work with string if you know a little bit of Python. Um, I'm gonna do something that's really basic, but can be useful as well. So this is a string access using SpareChop. SV string. Um, you can actually do this quite easily using animation nodes, but but I will attempt to do this using SpareChop anyway. So let's try this. Um, I will write a couple of fruits name. And this is gonna be our text. Um, I will use the object ID selector, and I think we actually have a text. Okay, so we, we do have BPY that's dealing with text, and we can access it using this object ID selector. And now we can actually grab the text into SpareChop. If we check the data. This data is like a simply a string. Um, the the return or the, the new line is actually uh, being shown as this uh, slash and n. That means actually like a new line, and we could easily separate this uh, this string using uh, one of Python. One of Python module um, that's dealing with string, and in order to do that, we simply use the formula nodes in SpareChop. So we plug in the data from text into this guy, and then currently it's giving an error because we need to change this into um, split. Something like that should work. So now we actually get the proper list of text. Um, there is an extra line here, so if I delete it and then update, we get rid of that extra line. So we have this uh, four um, text data, um, string data, and then we can actually use it inside SpareChop already. So that's, uh, that's pretty simple, right? Um, let's see. Uh, Typography viewer. So, so typography viewer is something that's uh, really handy in SpareChop because it's uh, it will automatically generate text based on the list of text that we give it. So currently, currently we have this uh, nothing in the 3D view, but if we plug in the text that we already split into this guy, we should get uh, one text object. I think I need to provide it with a matrix in and let's give it like a random vector we have four text so plug this into the location and there you go we have four uh, four text objects being generated on the fly inside SpareChop and that's based on this uh, list that we just type in so that's really really handy. Um, if you want to do more, um, there is another exercise we can do here. Let's say you have like um, nine lists of uh, fruit items. Let's say uh, let's write more durian, papaya. What else? Avocado. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kiwi, apple, actually, pineapple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine now, and we need to provide the exact number, I believe. So and then we update it. Okay, um, random vector is fine, but maybe we can use a plane, plane mk2, and then use center it. Three by three points, and we should get nine. So now, if we scale it, 
we should get this we can center it um, yeah so this is uh, pretty cool already and we can do anything with the with the actual list here we can do like a list shuffle for example and we can easily shuffle the data we can also do like a list shifting so if this is the data coming in we just shift the, the list like so and even cooler is that you can use a list item and if you use list item you know that we can pipe in like a just one value but if you use random number generator and then give it a value between 0 and 8 and make it the size maybe the size 100 actually don't do that 25 for now we can now have 25 different value and then arrange uh, everything is being arranged into a grid and we can randomize the seed so let me explain it again so what's going on I'll summarize what's going on so we start with a list of um, string values uh, we have this uh, list of fruits names and then we only have nine data but in Spreadshop we can split this nine data and then simply repeat it using random number generator and list item we repeat it 25 times uh, using random numbers that's why we end up with this uh, text and you see now this thing become really really easy normally you don't you don't actually this is not something easy to do but I think the fact that we can do it pretty easily is pretty incredible um, I, I like to do it with text because you can easily visualize the data and it's very clear but you can use any kind of data to do this let me arrange the text a little bit better so yeah this is 64 um, text string data based on nine items and we can visualize, visualize the text and each and every text is actually a text object in blender if you want to randomize the extrusion for example you can do that um, simply by maybe using the, the scaling here so if you use like a random number for the scale give it a 64 value you need to probably use vector in um, you can do that something like that or you just do it in the in the z-axis like so would be nice if we can actually align it but currently it's, it's looking something like this we can randomize the seed for the extrusion yeah there's a lot you can do here but this is just all the basics but it covers a lot of concepts that we have already learned so far um, yeah I guess it's uh, really handy to know this um, in blender because normally in order to do this you might need to use Python scripting you can do it manually but it's gonna be like a lot of trouble but normally you don't deal with data this way this is very cool because you can just plug in any new text object and this thing will update accordingly so let's say you have if you have like a another text data I'll quickly make one new text data and then it's gonna be animal name cat, dog, cow, elephant, tiger, bird, uh, what else, gold, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we need nine, snake, spider, if we replace this with this guy, we we get everything updated just instantly like that 
and you can change the list number and this thing should update it, everything accordingly so you suddenly have like a program that's able to do this pretty easily and you just use uh, blender and spreadshock add-on to do it so yeah that's a uh, pretty much it for this live noting hopefully this is useful um, if you have any questions something you don't quite understand let me know or any feedbacks to make this a little bit better um, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video